So, hello guys and welcome to this week's tutorial. On this one, I'm going to be showing you how to make this really cool classic Instagram style animation. Um, it's really fun to make and I hope you guys like it. But before I get right into the good stuff, I'm just going to say, guys, go down below, hit the sub button, hit the like button, comment on any kind of videos you want me to make. It really helps out the channel. And if you guys comment, I'll just know what you guys want to see from me. And it's going to help you guys see what you want and help me know what you guys want. But enough of the talking, let's just get right into it. So I'm going to start with an empty blender scene. So I just select everything and delete everything. And I'm going to shift it, add in a torus. So I'm going to add in a torus. And then I'm going to go up, go down here and change it to 62 major segments. So if we look here, we have this. So I'm going to press Alt-Z to go into um, X-ray mode and I press C and then just select all of these parts. So by doing this, we are selecting the birds that we're gonna delete. So something like this is good. So all these birds, not these, and not this one. And I'm gonna right click to get rid of the circle select and then press X and delete vertices. Okay, we've got this hollow um, torus. So then I'm gonna press Alt and click, and then Shift Alt and click on all these circle loops. So we're selecting these loops. And then I'm going to be filling them in. So we have this, and then if I press F, we fill them in, and then I press insert, and I insert them. Okay, that's done. We're done with the editing on that. And I'm just going to add in a subdivision surface, bump it up a bit, shade smooth, finito, RX 90. Okay, so now we've got this. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to grab on the Z, move it up a bit, and then press Shift S and cursor to select it. So we're going to have a cursor here. So we're going to spawn in a Cube, control three, shake smooth, scale it down a bit, add a cast modifier, so it makes a perfect sphere, and then I'm just gonna press control A and control A. And now I'm gonna go into top view, tab into edit mode, select these three faces, or four faces, sorry, inset them, oh, control Z, inset them not that much, so inset them like this, E to extrude on the Z, so I'm gonna grab on the Z, and grab on the Z a little bit more. So I'm just gonna move it out of the way here. And then I'm gonna add in a um, um, bevel modifier. So what that's gonna do is just make that this point here a little bit smoother if we increase the number of segments and decrease the amount. So we've got this kind of cubic shape going on here. So we've got our shape. Then we have one more shape that I wanna add. So I'm just gonna hide the uh, circle pendulum and I'm gonna add in another pendulum, and that's gonna be another cube, starting off as. I'm gonna scale it down, tab into edit mode, select these two faces, go into front view, scale on the x-axis, no, extrude on the x-axis, sorry, and scale on the x-axis, scale on the x, okay. Then I'm gonna extrude, scale on the x, bring them out like this, and then scale on the z, and then scale on the y. So we've got this, now I'm gonna add an a subdivision surface okay and then now i'm just gonna look how big do i want these little ends to be so i'm just gonna scale them, scale them y and scale them. is that a little bit more so something like this okay so increase the number of viewport samples shade smooth okay we've got this nice looking weird object so i'm gonna go into top view go back into edit mode and yet again just inset this part extrude and yeah, on the Z axis, let's move it up to where the other object had it. So grab on the Z, bring it up here, and then I'm just gonna, because it's a bit smooth here, I'm just gonna control B and bevel it up a bit. So that's it. Okay, we've got two pendulums and each one has a different shape. So how are we gonna animate this? So what I'm gonna start by doing, I'm gonna animate the sphere. So I'm gonna go here, and give myself 120 frames, and I'm going to tab into edit mode, and I still have these two top vertices selected, so I'm going to shift that and add cursor to select it. Okay, so what that's going to give us is it's going to let us um, set our origin to that 3D cursor. And so now we can rotate around this axis. Perfect. So um, on frame zero, I'm going to give myself a rotation on the um, Y axis of 50. No, on the X axis of 50. Okay. And 
insert single keyframe, frame 120, and then one more. I'm gonna give myself another keyframe of 50, and at frame 60, I'm gonna give myself negative 50. And insert that single keyframe, and then change the interpolation to Bezier by pressing T down here. Okay, and now what do we have? Oh, I changed this to bounce start. So now we have this smooth looking animation. Okay. So how do we make this a little more satisfying? So, for example, we can start rotating this. So at frame zero, it's going to be at 90 degrees. Okay. Insert single keyframe. At frame 60, where we, at frame 30, where the ball is in the middle, we're going to change this to um, zero. Okay. So, and at frame 60, it's going to come back to, um, it's going to go to negative 90. 90 it's a single keyframe but then we're going to come back here and then we're going to give it minus 90 more so we're still rotating it and then here minus 90 again okay and done and so now we've got this movement so our ball is going through precisely at the moment where the circle aligns there okay perfect so now let's animate our second bone thing. Okay, so we have it here. And I want it to move through. I want it to move through this way. So I'm going to rotate it like 90 degrees on the Z axis. So I want it to move like from left to right, left to right, like this. Okay, so what I'm going to do is shift A, add in a empty to the plane axis. Okay, and then I'm going to parent my uh, bone thing to that empty. So I'm going to press control P, parent to object. So now let's start rotating it on the Y axis. So at frames one, it's at uh, um, zero. At frame 30, it's going to be at 50. At frame 60, it's going to be at zero yet again. And we're just going to move through this slowly, slowly, giving us um, the movement of like a pendulum. Okay, so we've got this. And at frame 121, we're going to be back to zero. Okay, so now we've got this movement. But we still need it to be in Bezier. And okay, we've got this. But it does a weird stop at frame zero and 120. So what we need to do is open up the um graph editor so i'm going to open up this graph editor and we see um the movement of our torus uh, of our little bone thing so i'm just going to grab on the z i'm going to grab this little node and then i'm going to grab here this little node grab on the z and just move it up so now that's just going to fix our frames so it's just going to have a smooth movement throughout okay so let's close that up and let's add a little bit more pizzazz to this so I want the bone to also twist around its axis. So I want a frame, a frame zero, one for it to be on the Z axis to be at zero. On frame 30, I want it to turn, on frame 60, I want it to have turned 180 degrees. Okay. And on frame 120, I want it to have turned 360 degrees. So enter single keyframe. So, oh God, I, I messed up. Um, so I'm just gonna come back and fix this for a second. Um, simple mistake, you just select this bone, not the empty, we select this and just start doing the rotation. So on the Z axis, I'm gonna, at frame um, one, I'm gonna have it at 90 degrees, so insert single keyframe. At frame 30, at frame 60, I want to add 180 degrees to this, so I'm just gonna add 180 uh, degrees to it, okay? And then I'm going to, on frame 120, I'm going to add plus 180 degrees. Okay, so insert single keyframe. So now we have this movement. Okay, perfect. So it's pretty cool looking. And I like how this moves around. It's, it's a nice looking animation. But I want to change this up a bit. I'm just, I just want this final thing for this here to start moving around. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to rotate it on the let's say x-axis whilst everything else moved so a frame zero one it's gonna have insert single keyframe it's gonna be at 90 degrees here it's gonna be 
plus. I'm I'm just plus ninety. Okay. Next yeah, plus plus ninety is more. So I'm wanting to move to one eighty degrees. And then I'm gonna go here. Plus plus one eighty. Okay. So I'm gonna go keyframe here. Plus one eighty. Plus one eighty. Insert single keyframe, and finally, over here, I wanted to rotate 180 degrees more plus 180. Okay, insert single keyframe. So we have this kind of movement going on, and it just looks sick. Okay, that's it. That's it for the animation. We can start um, coloring this in, basically. So I'm gonna shift A, add in a circle. Oh, control Z. I'm gonna um, change the origin to world origin so shift a add in a circle um change it to angon fill tab i'm gonna extrude it on the z select it i'm gonna scale it scale it up a little bit then i'm gonna add a bevel modifier okay perfect increase the number of segments decrease the amount a little bit and then i'm gonna shoot it smooth perfect we've got this and then i'm just gonna do one last thing. I'm gonna shift the scale it up, scale it on the Z, scale on the Z a bit. Grab on the Z. I'm just gonna start moving, giving us more of these little spheres. And then grab on the Z. Okay, we've got this cool looking thing. And finally, I'm just gonna shift there and add in a plane. Move it down somewhere here. Scale it up. I'm gonna give myself. A back backbone shoot this add in a bevel increase it up that's it tab shades more okay perfect add in my camera so i'm gonna give myself a look at one so i'll shift the out of my camera i'm gonna look at this from like this angle control zero i'm gonna zoom in a little bit so by like 80. okay scale this on the e. scale this on the y okay and now we have this movement and this camera setup. Okay, let's start lighting this. So if we go into the shading tab, um, we can light this up. So I'm gonna turn down the background colors. I'm gonna go into rendered view, add in a light. So a area, uh, X. I'm gonna add in an area light, grab on the Z. I'm gonna increase its power a little bit. So to like 200 or 300 change it to like a disc, shadow to contact shadows, scale it up a bit, grab on the Z, and then I'm gonna duplicate it, move it here, and then I'm gonna duplicate this one again, and move it here. I'm practically done now. We can just start um, adding some colors to this, but before that, I'm just gonna turn ambient inclusion, bloom, and screen space reflections. So for our ball, I'm gonna give it like a nice, um, no roughness, white color, and just increase the specular. For our uh, bone, I'm gonna just do the same, just make it a gray color, no roughness, increase the specular. And for this um, torus, I'm gonna increase the metallic, no, basically no roughness, basically no roughness. And for the ground, I'm gonna start adding some like pink colors. So I'm gonna do like, light pink and then i'm just gonna decrease the roughness and then i'm just gonna get the other one and do the same here do something like this and then decrease the roughness and then one more time add a new one something like this and then decrease the increase the specular decrease the roughness and for the background i'm gonna just decrease the roughness increase the specular a tiny bit and give it a nice reddish pink color. So that's our whole animation, that's our whole movement. That's all we need to do. There's nothing more we need to do. If you want, you can see this in cycles. It look, looks a little bit more crisp, but that's it. So that, now let's just get into the exporting tab. Just choose uh, the file you want to call it. Thanks for watching. That's what I'm going to call it. Um, yeah, and then I'm going to change the file format to FFmpeg and call it to MP4. And then change the output quality to perceptual losses. And that's it, press Control up 12 to render this animation out. And what do you get? You get this cool looking thing. Um, I rendered mine out in 
um, in cycles, but in EV it looks good also. So I hope you guys liked this video. Hope you enjoyed. Check out more of my videos. Um, and I hope you guys come back again. See you guys in the next one. Thank you. <laughs>